are so sweet in this candy. <sighs> Lord, just speak through me. I want to speak about one thing that can cripple us as Christians, that can cripple a church, and that can cripple a revival, and that is fear. Mm -hmm. Fear is a tool from the enemy. Fear will tell you lies. Fear will make you think things that are untrue. Fear can be powerful if you let it be. I'm sick of fear. I'm sick of seeing the people I love live in fear. I'm sick of seeing people who are trying to fight for Christ be fold to fear. Church, our God is almighty. Our God is powerful. Our God is the creator of everything that you see and everything that we are. Fear cannot trample over you. Fear does not own you. Fear does not walk the halls of these church because the Holy Spirit roams the walls of these church and lives inside of you. Thus for fear does not have power over you. I'm tired of it going after our kids. I'm tired of it going after our families. I'm tired of it. I'm going to stand up and I am going to proclaim the love of Christ and I am going to proclaim the power of our God. And I know that you all too. And if there's anybody in here that, that isn't, stand up now. Because God will help you do that. Ask him to reveal it to you. Ask him to take away that fear. Don't be ashamed to do it. Ask him. He knows we're not perfect. He knows we need him. He wants you to say, I need you. Lord, I need you. I'm going to sit here and try to read this. I don't know if I can. <laughs> oh, I'm going to start with the Bible verse. How about that? Where God's love is, there is no fear. Yeah. Because God's perfect love takes away fear. First yeah. John 4.18. All right, let me read this. I want to be the center of your life. When you focus on me, my peace chases away your fears and your worries. I know that everyone is afraid sometimes. I'm not saying that you will never be afraid. What I am saying is that you will never have to face your fears alone. Speak his name. All you have to do is say, Jesus. Don't make it complicated. Don't make it difficult. Just say, Jesus. You best believe he's there. I am always with you, and my strength is always there for you. I will never leave you. But fear is a sneaky thing. Just when you think you've gotten it all out of your life, it will creep up behind and whisper in your ear. Always, guys, be on alert. Never, ever be comfortable because you better believe that is where the enemy is coming after you and after your family. Always realize that you are in a spiritual war and the enemy is waiting for you to get comfortable. He's waiting for you to say, okay, I got it all, you know, I got it all figured out. You know, I don't need to, you know, talk to God every day, you know, this and that. No, that's lies. You better make sure you are prayed up. It's going to whisper in your ear saying, you're all alone. But remember my words, I am always with you. God is everywhere. He's everywhere. There is not one place that you can be in this world where God isn't. Thank me for my presence. And trust me, 
This will protect you from fear. Spend time in the light of my love while I bless you with my peace. Let me tell you something. God's peace surpasses all understanding. Scriptural, right? Scripture. You don't have to understand how it works. You don't have to understand why he's able to do it. You just need to know that he can. That's all you have to do is know that he can do that for you. And he will. But you can't live in fear because church, it will kill your walk. Don't let it stomp on you. Don't let it stomp on your relationships. Don't let it stomp on the warrior that you can be for Christ. Because you, my friend, can be something mighty. And he can use you. But if you fall down to whatever the enemy, well, what if this happens? And well, what if that happens? Well, God, what if? Throw him away. It doesn't matter. None of that matters. What matters is, is that you go to God and you say, Lord, take this fear from me. I trust in you. I know that you will provide a way. I know that you will give me peace. And Lord, I need it. And he will give it. But you need to be aware of what the enemy will use to get to you. And this will make you be able to identify it and fight it. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you for your love. I thank you for your peace that surpasses all understanding. Lord, I ask right now that any fear that is in us, any doubts that we may have, Lord, right now I just ask that you would reach down and remove them from us, Father. Because we know that you are our God. And we know that we are in the palms of your hands, Lord. Your scriptures tell us that. Lord, let us feel your love. Let us know that you already have our path picked out. Father, I just pray that we stay in it. Father, let us look to you when we need guidance. Father, I pray that we're honest with ourselves, that we're honest with you, Lord. That we can come to you when we need it. Father, I pray for repentance. Father, I pray that we all fall down on our knees, Lord, and let us just confess to you what we have done wrong. Father, I ask that you would help lead us and guide us in the way that you would have us to go, Lord. Let us always continually look to you for the answers that we need, Lord, and take away our fear. Let us just feel your love and your peace, Father God. In Jesus' name I pray, amen.